yeah, man, Mark. Hey. What's up? I'm good, how's it? I'm fantastic. Yeah? So you are a radio presenter. Yeah. An entrepreneur. Yeah. And, and someone's blesser also. Hey. Somewhere. Somewhere. Okay, we're not going to name any names. Okay, yeah, no, we won't. <laughs> and you're a stand-up comedian for Free Your Mind. Yes. But besides that public knowledge of you, who is Mark? Like behind the whole public persona, who is Mark? Um, gee, um, I'm, I, you know what? I'm, I'm uh, a go-getter. I'm just a chill guy who just does what he does. It just happens to be that what I like to do is, you know, on that kind of platform. Yeah. Um, pretty, pretty chill. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I, I don't know what to say. I'm a comedian, like I mentioned. There's a whole full description, and I'm just a guy who likes to entertain. Mm -hmm. um, very creative. Oh yes. And a very go-getter. You know, I go, I go there. Yeah. Okay. Well, um, you probably started off life like any normal person. You went to school. You went to started working. When when did the when did you know in your life that entertaining people, making people laugh, was something that you wanted to do? Uh, about about f four years ago, mm. when I started free your mind. Yeah. And it's a funny story because at the time, yeah, me and my bras were like in like because you know talk when you're young, everyone has been in a rap group. Yeah, of course. And we were like in a, in a young in a little group. Uh -huh. was kind of like black eyed peas, but the query version. <laughs> <laughs> and okay. I was obviously the will I am of the group. Of course. But it just wasn't happening. It was happening, but it was going very slow. You know, we'd be at theater school, mm -hmm. we go there, check it out, we do all these things in high school and whatnot. And then in, in school, when I was in school, I got a, I was doing like part-time job. Yeah. Like I was waiting tables, all of that. And mm -hmm. I met these guys from Free Your Mind. And these guys always tell me like, you're really funny, you should try comedy. Oh. Anyone around me would be like, you're funny, you should try comedy. But I'm like, what? No. I mean, who's going to, you know, I was like, nah, it's not going to work. But I did it and, you know, like my friends, my family were like, you should really try comedy. And I, and I really researched. And obviously, Free Your Mind was big. Wow, yeah. It's big, it's huge. And I see these guys, they have so much power, you know? Like they control an audience by literally a snap of their finger and a one-liner. Like yeah. the whole audience falls off their chair. And I'm like, there's no way I could do this. But I, I did Last Comic Standing because mm. I was like, that was the, the, my first ever performance and I was the runner-up. And... So last comic standing is like it's like a big maybe it's biggest competition where they get the the brand new comics, yeah. fresh faces. Yeah. And so it's like a knockout round thing where you get eliminated, blah blah. And as each round keeps going, I'm like, this is actually happening. Yeah, I could actually I be Nambia's funniest guy. Yeah. And I go to the final and I, I didn't win. Yeah, but I was the runner up. <laughs> and after that I just I started to just hone my craft and the more I did it the better I got and I really enjoyed it and I realized, you know what, maybe this is just something that a, a talent that I have. Mm. So I, I, I did it, you know, now I'm, I'm really something that I'm proud to, to, to do. I actually, I actually studied finance and credit and um, uh, I do have <laughs> a job. But apart from that, I just prefer to keep the narrative to my comedy, you know. I don't yeah. want to delve into what do you do on this side, what do you do. But apart from that, another thing that I do do, um, uh, but I'm not a stand-up bank anymore. But, you know, I'm doing a, a couple of other things. Mm. And one of the things that we're doing right now is Focus Cuts. I don't know if you heard of it. Yeah. It's um, uh, it's an on-demand mobile barbershop yeah. whereby we... I'm a co-founder. Mm. Whereby we do services where a professionally trained barber comes and grooms you at your house. Make sure you Google that. And, uh, <laughs> but, so, the, so yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm a pretty busy guy. And I'm also doing my radio show. Yes. Yeah, so, you know, it's all of that. Okay, well... Stay in school, kids. Please. Yes. Okay. Yeah. But what, what I was trying to get at is, like, how supportive was your family, especially your parents, when you decided to really pursue... Comedy. Comedy oh. and... Yeah. Well, um, initially when I did it, I thought, like, it, it's, you know, it's pretty cool and whatnot. Yeah. But I don't want to lie. My, my, actually, my, the first time my mom and my dad came, mm. they came and they supported the show. It was at the theatre. They came and supported the show, clapped hands, were like really cool. But my mom told me that when they went to the car, my dad was crying. He thought my his son has lost his mind. He's like, what? It's happening? Because I think at the time when he came also, I was probably humping a chair or something inappropriate. Like I remember that show was the one show that was just like blue comedy. It was just over the top. And he just walked in and he's like, really? And my mom is like, isn't it good? And it's like, really, you're promoting this? But now they are pretty chilled. You know, they come to my show a lot. Um, they also understand that it's art. Yes. Um, Cause sometimes it'll be. <laughs> sometimes I'll say stuff or, or, um, on stage, and then we go back home, and it's just awkward at the dinner table. So, oh, is that what you do with girls? 
<laughs> and I'm like, um, you know, there's jokes, right? You know, there's jokes. But it's pretty chilled because mm-hmm. it's 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 not even um, it's not even like an act yeah. or anything. That's probably that's partially one some of the, one of the reasons why I never got a, a stage name mm. because there's no distinction between Mark Karia who I in real life and who I am on stage. Yes, I am a bit amplified, but yeah. there's not really like I'm not a character. Yeah. So it's 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 every, my 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 people get me. Let's like, talk my, about the one man show for a second. I think it's it's a really big deal super big it's yes. a huge deal like because i know most of free your minds um shows they have a number of people performing on one night yeah and this one is literally just one man which is you yeah how how did you get that gig first and foremost i just want to know because i'm like like why are you though <laughs> not that i'm hating it's just like there's so yeah. many comics yeah on the scene right now but those comics they me i'm kidding um yeah i hear what you're saying um <gasps> Well, okay, so the one-man show comes annually. Yes. Um, it goes to just one comic yeah. in the whole Free Your Mind who, I guess, who's at the at the peak of pop culture, to put it like mild, mildly. Mm. And but also, so it needs. To, but also, um, I think I got it because again, the t- my, my Free Your Mind is really amazing. Like yeah. people don't give Free Your Mind as a, a lot of credit mm. for what they do for young people like us. You know, they they. The dedication they put into mm. pushing us, mm. like I'll, I'll literally submit, I'll, I'll literally do a script, right? Mm. And like I'm presenting it to the team, like so this is my script, my plan. And I'm telling you, this is like a phenomenal script. Mm. And the whole team would be like, ah, nah, fam, like go rework it, go rework it, go rework it, go rework it. So we, so we work really hard on perfecting that. And I think I just got the show because for one, I really wanted it, and also, yeah, again, uh, every every comic has has their moment, you know. Every single comic has their moment, and I think this is my moment. I think it's every comic needs to go through certain things. Yeah. You need to go through the phase. You need to go through the phase where you're trying to be really funny, and then someone might throw you with something. You might, might say something, someone will go like, Ah, for sick! <laughs> you know? Has that really happened? It has, it like has. People, boo, people booing you, people not laughing as much as Oh, my goodness. Would. For me, my, let me tell you what happened to me. This actually, I don't know if, <laughs> I put the event up, I swear to God, about three people pitched up. Two of them must have been my mom, and my sister, and maybe my bra. I think there was an extra person. Maybe someone was just happened to walk by. Maybe a hobo. Yes, we just like, just... oh, what's happening here? Yeah. So I think every comedy needs to go through that phase where you, like we say in 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 in, in comedy and mm. performance art, you die. Where you just like, <laughs> where you're not funny on stage. Thank you so much for sitting down with us. Oh yeah. Uh, no, it's really like I'm really like I'm I'm I'm, I'm excited that you that you guys would want to interview me. Like hey. it's really really nice. And you're coming to the show, right? Yes. You look like you're funny. Look at you look like you're funny. You can... I am. Yeah, but the thing is, I can't script that. It just has to come naturally. No. That's my problem. Maybe yeah, you, can, you can be my ghostwriter. Yeah, no, not, but not everything you need to write. A lot of stuff yeah. we also don't write. We need, there's a lot of improvising that you need to. You need to think <laughs> on your toes smart. Yeah. Because you might have a, a joke about an apple and then someone throws a banana. Then you're like, Ugh. You have to change, change it, it real quick. Yeah. Yeah, but cool, cool. Okay, but yeah, we look forward to it. 1st of September, Fresh Prince of Okakarara, Warehouse, 8 o'clock. Get your tickets, a copy ticket for 100 bucks. Do not inbox me. Don't do it, bro. Please, have some dignity. <laughs> Just buy the tickets. Yeah, and we are very happy to support Thank local you very talent much. and to support you in particular. Absolutely. Thank all, you very all much. All the best. Why? You've got long legs, so break, break them all. Break them. Break them. Break them. Yeah, Vandu Voshi wana shi dwarika ne inje ko show ye tu Fresh Prince of Okakarara po warehouse theatre. It's um, a one man show. Hundred dollars at computer ticket, one fifty at the at the door. Come through and support Namibian comedy, Namibian art. Shout out to this entertainment shop.